welcome back. This is Bowie Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I am joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, and Zachman. We lost Bloom. He, he, he went to help his father, so... Whatever, but we got a new thing on our airship. Wait. What, what's going on? Oh, Bloon! You guys are late! Bloon was ahead of everybody! But I thought, shouldn't you be? We all promised the crystal we'd go on our journey, and I don't want to be a smith just yet. I'm thankful to Father for taking care of an orphan like me all these years, but this is something I have to do. Are all of you guys orphans? Sackman, I'm, I'm looking at you. Two, you mean? I'm one too. Sackman? Wait a minute. I too have no parent. Don't know who my parents are or they died. Just just saying. Everybody has parents. The crystal must have known. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting journey. Now let's break through that rock. We need to do it. We need to take Sid home. Well, he did lend us this awesome airship. Semi-awesome. But so uh, we must ram. What did we, we just rammed a random rock and then everything exploded. What the hell? Phew. Okay. Thank you for the cutscene. That was necessary. Very, very necessary. So let's explore this new, this new little part of town. Well, new little part of the continent, I guess. There's a town here. Is this what you were looking for, dude? It looks like it was. Thank you for your help, lads. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you out. I know you probably want to get the hands on a new airship. Well, I'm the man for the job, but you have to meet King Argus first. See, I only make the I only made the airship's hull. The king's the one who knows the secret of creating airship engines. That's kind of the important part, the, the whole engine thing. Whatever. Come see me again once you've spoken with King Argus. And we get the sad, the sad leaving party music. Oh, I said, you are awesome. You knew fire. Nobody, nobody here knows fire. What's up, dude? Rumor has it that there's a gnome village hidden somewhere in the woods south of here. What's up, Moogle? You got anything cool to tell me? Did I get any mail? No. Uh, no. I might have to look that up eventually because I know that's the only way to get the uh, Onion Knight job class. They changed it in this version, I guess, because I remember Onion Knight being the default um, job, but in this one you have to apparently earn Onion Knight. So, I'll, I might hack the game. I'll, I'll figure out a way to get the Onion Knight eventually. Um, you have to use the. You have to find actual friends. I think you need to find like seven people that have. Final Fantasy 3 on the DS in order to make this work, so uh, to be honest, I don't have seven friends that have this game, so I'm gonna find a way though. I'll figure out a way, uh, whether that means looking up stuff or or trying to cheat the game somehow. I'll, I'll figure out a way to get it. My daughter Selena has fallen in love with that vagrant Dash. Really? The vagrant. Stay a fortnight before he left, mumbling about some task he promised himself to do. And so he's been angsty and crying ever since. He wouldn't like her when she's angsty. Is there anything back here? Nothing of importance, apparently. So let's talk to this emo little girl. What's up? How you doing? Oh, Dash, my beloved Dash, when will you be back? Why don't you love me? Why would you go to the mountains in the east where a dragon is said to dwell? And what would drive you to go to such a place alone? We're gonna have to save him, aren't we? Do you think we should check out this dragon mountain? Definitely! Let's go look for this dash guy and bring him back here! I told you! Can I go? It looks like there's something back there that I can get, but I don't know. Oh! There we go! Secret passage! Of course there is. We find a gold needle, and no. Hold on. 
Well, somewhere around here, somewhere. You can't lie to me, game. There's... There's something else that I want. I don't want to spoil it. It's, I swore it was through the secret passage as well. I must be losing it. Is it this? Over... This thing... There it is. Apparently, the wood. The... F the firewood. I'm just leaving. I'm done here. I don't care about your stupid secret treasure anymore. Ah. Oh. Can I look at this heal me? No. Uh, keep on trying to infuse Seven Saga logic with, with every other game, but it refuses to transfer. What do we have in the shop here? We do have Mithril stuff. Um, uh, attack of 12. Novin can use that. He is on the bow, so we're definitely going to get one of those. You can get a Mithril knife. It says 14. You're already on 17 each. Uh, from your Mithril swords, you're still the only one that can use that. He can do the great bow. Alright, I'll get a few of those, and... I'll get, like, 10. Is 10 good? I'll get 10. Alright, let me go ahead and equip those. Be right back. Alright, so I bought pretty much all of that for Novin, and he used some of it. So, awesome. But, it's okay. I mean, they're arrows. They'll expire. Whoa! You are very, very red. Why, hello there. I'm a dancer. Watch me prance. You're doing the same fucking dance? Seriously? What the hell is that? It's like a crank that soldier boy. What the hell? It was just like... <clears throat> okay, whatever. What, what are you up to? Arrow is a white magic spell that harnesses the power of wind to damage the enemies. Flying monsters are especially vulnerable to it. Wait, arrow? Arrow is black magic, damn it. Arrow is... You tell me. Arrow is black magic. Alright, so, I have two of those. I don't have a thunder, so I'm going to get one of those. Um, I don't have a poison or a blind right now, um, but I don't really care about blind, so I'm just going to get poison. And yes, I am out of money. Awesome. And you guys thought I had so much, didn't you? That'll teach you. Let's learn, um, oh, you do learn fire. Huh. I didn't think I had fire yet. I had forgotten. But it doesn't look like he's a high enough of level of a black mage to actually use the level 2 stuff yet. Yet. Now, there should be an armor place around here. I know I can't get anything from it, but I should be able to look and see what they have. Oh, what are you up to? He bought the last mini scroll off me. What does that spell do? It shrinks you to gnomish size. That's what it does. Yeah, mini in this game is a plot magic that you will need in order to continue the plot. I kid you not. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely have to make room for mini. What's up? How you doing? You doing good? Uh, everyone in the bag. Everybody. Everybody needs that. Everybody needs that. And everybody needs that. Okay, apparently I didn't do a good job equipping everybody when I did it before. So I'm gonna go do that. And, uh, eventually. Eventually I'll get to that. After I'm done here, oh. Yay, I can resurrect people there. Awesome! Nobody's dead right now, though. I've done a good job! Didn't get any battles or anything. What is up? Why, hello there. We don't usually get this many visitors around here, and there are four of you. The last one we had was a young man named Dash. Yes, I've heard all about him. Apparently he makes quite an impression on emo little girls. What's up, Sid? Mrs. Sid's gotten sick while I was away. Don't worry, she'll be fine. If only I could get my hands on a bottle of elixir. Cough hack. Do I have an elixir on me? I thought I did. No. Okay. 
So, I don't have an elixir to hand over. Elixir, of course, heals full HP, full MP. So, we need to find ourselves an elixir. I don't remember anybody selling one. Of course, we haven't gone to the inn in this town. Maybe they sell it. Uh, I think there is something... Yeah, there is more to town. Up here in the northeast, um, I think... Is it here? No. I swore it was there. Maybe it's on this side. Oh yeah, you can go right into the river. I forget all about this stuff. This game has so many small little details that I think just got lost in other games. And you kind of like that. You kind of kind of like that they got lost. Kind of like though that there is more uh, more to this game than there are other games. And there we do find an elixir. So let's go back to Sid's house and give it to his wife because she's in desperate need of it. Her HP is so low and it's not like she can just sleep on that bed and heal herself. Whatever. So let's head back to Sid's house, which was way over here. I mean, it's a long walk to get back and forth in this town. And you know, because it, the door's still open, the last one that you were in. Okay. No, no. There we go. Cough hack! Yes, cough hack. Indeed. Elixir! She feels better! Victory music! Thank you all for helping me and Sid! Thank you again! That'll be two! I owe you all, you all. Gro <laughs> We've grown so much? You've known us for like two hours, dude! Uh, apparently a couple days! We could have grown that much. Oh, I just remember. See that lamp on the wall? Push it! He has a secret passage! There might be something in there that you can use! Okay, so, yes, yeah, secret passage in Sid's house. Are you still gonna act shocked? He. Abel! He told you it was a secret passage. You don't need to be like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Every time. Every time, Abel. Okay. So let's head down into Sid's little hangar thing. Oh, holy crap. Okay, what do we got? Gnomish bread. I don't know if that's good or not. Potion. That's always useful. Great bow, which are just fucking butt. Gnomish bread. Gold needle. Iron arrows. Blind which I did not buy, and a phoenix down. Awesome. Are there anything in these pots or anything? And I see that I can go down here. I don't know. Oh, because there's another secret passage in the secret passage, which leads to four more treasure chests where we get 2,000 gil. 2,000 more gil. Another phoenix down, and another phoenix down. So, holy crap, Sid was loaded. He's been holding out on us until until we healed his wife, pretty much. He's just like, nah, they don't deserve all this stuff. Even though they took me back to my wife, nah, they're going to need to save her before I give her all my stuff. Everything new to say? Yes, don't let us stop you from continuing the journey, of course not. You be careful, y'all come back now, you hear? Thank you, Mrs. Sid. So I am actually going to take this opportunity to go outside and level up, pretty much just job level up right now. I'm not trying to, to get to a certain point, uh, just really trying to get the job level to where I want it to be. And I will meet you on the other side. Actually, I just checked my time and it seems like I'm all out of time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I've been Bala Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.